Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have something pretty cool and it's inside this bag. And I'll give you a hint, it's not Aldi's. I ended up picking this up for $40, which honestly isn't bad because I've seen it go for over 100 on eBay. It's the smallest computer you'll ever see. Look at that. This is the Core M3 Intel Compute Stick. They do have another one that's an Atom processor that is pretty worse than this. This one's actually pretty good. And well, I say pretty good. It has a score of like 2100 on cpubenchmark.net. Let's see what we can do with this because I feel like we can definitely push some gaming out of this and just some other stuff. I mean, really gonna be pushing the limits of this portable computer. The other stuff that's in the bag, we have the uh, power brick type C to type C. Plug one end to the compute stick, the other end to that. And then also gives you two extra USB 3.0 plugs, which is actually uh, pretty nice. Though, I don't know if we'll be using them because I believe Windows 10 is already downloaded on here. We might just need this one for keyboard and mouse. There's the Type-C board, and then we also have a micro SD. I believe this only comes with 64 gigabytes of storage, so we might actually be using that micro SD card slot because I want to try actually like playing some games. Also, if we hit 500 likes, I'll download Linux on this thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. We have the computer set up. I'm gonna let it download its Windows updates, do everything it needs to do. This is like the most boring part of my videos, so a lot of times I don't even keep these in, but I'm gonna get everything downloaded. I don't think there's gonna be any drivers because it's just a compute stick. There's no graphics card. I'll get back to you guys once we uh, get some Windows updates downloaded. I will say it does help the fact that I didn't have to install Windows. It was already installed with Windows 10, so I didn't have to do anything on that aspect. It's a little less boring in my aspect because it's, it's taken hours at some point, so. I'm glad that I just had to sit here and wait for this to install, which it's almost done, so let me give it a few more minutes. All right, now that everything's downloaded, we're gonna go through Wikipedia, see what random stuff we can find today. All right, 2023 episode, cool, cool. Mm, okay, 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 okay. I have no clue who I'm looking at or pregnancy, I guess. That's what I'm looking at, wow. All right, let's, let's do some other stuff. All right, so it looks like it's actually able to run 1080p videos pretty well. We have yet to drop a frame, but I don't think there's any sound. Like, I can't really see, but I, I really don't think there's any sound, so... I think that's an issue with my capture card and not the computer itself. Probably just all around whack, so hopefully there's some sound in the gameplay, because that's kind of whack. Even though you still cannot hear the video, 4K doesn't really run. As you can tell, it's like pretty much frozen right now. It's dropping every frame. 4K is unachievable, which was kind of expected. Hey, look at that. It's not frozen anymore. It's like very slow and buffering now. So yippee. If the operating system was less harsh on the system, I guarantee like with Linux, you probably would be able to do like 1440p, maybe even some 4K like video streaming. So that might be something we have to look at in the future. The compute stick feels like very hot. Kind of looks a little whack right now, but I'm trying to download MSI Afterburner just so that, you know, I can see what the temperature's sitting at because uh, I don't want to get in too hot. And I really don't want to take it apart either. Hopefully this should get done in just a second. All right, looking at this temperature right here, you can kind of see kind of going up. It's hit 84. So probably not the best. I don't know what I could do. I mean, like, I guess I can like throw a little fan next to it. But besides that, it's like, what else would I do? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not taking this apart right now. Not right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not taking it apart. I assume new thermal paste might help, but I mean, there's already just like the tiniest fan inside this thing anyways. So maybe Linux is the option. Not today. Not today. Not today. Let's get Steam downloaded. That's what I want to do. Let's get Steam downloaded. Let's get some games. All right, so I'm on the latest version of Minecraft. If I don't move, it's actually okay. And I can hit like 30. But as soon as I start like moving and stuff, oh, it was actually doing better than when I started recording. I was only getting like 15 FPS, but I mean, technically it's not, I, I wouldn't play like this. This, this is horrible. I even turned down a lot of the settings. So this is fast as you can see by the leaves. And then I even turned down render distance to like eight chunks. So I feel like it's just dipping a lot. Maybe if you capped it at like 30 FPS, it'd be okay. Okay, I guess we're in windowed mode now. I haven't played modern Minecraft in probably more than six months. So yeah, see it's, it's dipping down a lot. It's dipping down a lot. Yeah, this isn't really playable. Let's get let's get an older version. Let's play something I'd play. Here we are in beta 1.7.3. I mean, it's definitely more playable. I'll say that. It's more playable. It's less stuttery. Though I can't fly around because there's uh, no creative in this version. Probably could have uh, downloaded some mods that probably allowed me to do that. But oh well. We're on fancy settings. You can see through the leaves. So I guess that's an improvement. Like I said, this is pretty playable. It's probably gonna get a way smoother frame rate than the most modern version of Minecraft. I'm even surprised that it like even launched and like was playable. That's my that's my biggest thing. So the fact it was able to do that was really cool. Let's see if we can find an exposed dungeon maybe. 
And there's the ocean, okay. I guess there's nothing here. Let's move on to our actual games on Steam now. Playing some Prison Architect now. I actually haven't really played this like that much now I think about it. I've obviously done the tutorial and like, a little bit but it's really it this seems to be running perfectly fine i don't know how it's gonna be late game honestly but we're hitting over 60 fps just doing our thing okay maybe maybe it did just spike there we're, we're not gonna talk about that i think this is doing pretty well let's move on to our next game all right here we are we have the binding of isaac this is the rebirth not the newest version but it's not the base scratch game so all right we're doing good we're doing good it's playing pretty well we're on just standard settings and yeah honestly like i said it's doing pretty well I am not playing well, I'll say that. I am not playing well at all. I'm literally about to die. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember the controls for keyboard and mouse, so. Whoops. No, we're going to move on to our next game. Unless we get, like, the best item ever in here. No. We, we, we just get bomby. I don't even know how to use the bomb. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on to our next game. Alrighty, we're here in Cluster Truck. And honestly... It's not running half bad. We're only playing it in 720p. But honestly, it's kind of holding up. I mean, as long as we're sticking around that 30 FPS mark, it's doing pretty well. It can dip at some points. So you do have to ex kind of expect that. It's honestly not that bad. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty surprised that this is even running fairly well. Oh. Some of the later levels are probably going to be way more unstable. But for right now, at least in World 1, we're doing okay. Whoa, 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 that's a lot going on. That's a lot going on. I am now starting to see the limitations. I mean, we're really staying around that 30 FPS mark, and when we do dip, it's not much. I don't think we go under 20 very often. Alright, the last level we're doing. But no, honestly, this is actually playable. The fact that I'm able to get through a whole world and not really have issues. It might not be the most enjoyable experience. We'll go on to the next game. All right, the next game that we have up is The Escapist. It's running perfectly fine. I wanna make sure I don't get searched. Of course I'm getting searched. Of course. I forget the controls. Like I said, I played controller a lot, so I don't even know the controls. And I lost everything. Yeah, I don't really remember the controls in keyboard and mouse. I have to play this more. I've been getting more into the custom maps, so that should be a lot of fun. It's running perfectly fine. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to play this. Let's move on to our next game. All right, we're now playing Terraria. And honestly, it's running pretty fine. We're hitting 60 almost consistently. I did have to turn some settings down though, I will say. We're doing pretty fine. We have low settings. I had to turn the background off. So it's just basic backgrounds. I'm not good at video games today. Pretty big lag spike there. It's to be expected. This uh, CPU is technically overheating. So you win some, you lose some. Let's go. We got the step stool. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, a murderous blowpipe. Let's go. I mean, I'm saying early game, this is probably playable, but I would more than likely turn down the resolution to 720p maybe. All right, kill me jellyfish kill me i think it's pretty simple i think uh it's pretty good we have one more game that's uh more on this like entry level not really performance heavy it's just standard games people would play that you can play on most computers so we have one more of that and then we're actually gonna we're actually gonna test this bad boy see what games we can actually get running because we didn't get the most modern version of minecraft but we got like beta minecraft pretty much run so i guess i'll take that i've kind of just been messing around in town scraper it's a little uh smaller game that just allows you to build pretty much whatever you want to build okay i'm getting somewhere it looks very weird but i'm getting somewhere and it looks nice i did have to cap this game at 30 just because it was lagging a little bit nice little shoreline i like it i like it all right i think i'm done messing around with this i'm having enough fun Let's uh, let's move on to the games that's actually gonna push this PC. Here we are on Slime Rancher. This is one of the games that I really wanted to see if this can actually run. And it's running, not well, but it's running. I'm still able to play and enjoy, and that's kind of like the most important part of this. Yeah, overall we're doing all right. I mean, we're not dipping down too crazy, but it's still noticeable. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna see, I guess I haven't really loaded out here, so maybe, this might cause more performance issues, but it doesn't really look like it. 
Looks like I am just kind of just chilling. Well, let's move on to our next game. All right, so we're playing Fallout 3. This is going to be one of the first games I wanted to test that actually pushed the limits of this computer. We're on the lowest possible settings. The lowest resolution, 800 by 600. You'd think it works. I mean, it's doing perfectly fine here, you know, 60 FPS. But as soon as we go and start a game, it just crashes. It just crashes. There's, there's nothing... There's nothing I can do. I mean, maybe I can mess with some of the game files and try to get it to load, but I'm not really knowledgeable in that area. So I think I'm going to leave it for now and we're going to move on to our next game. Man, I love very low end computers because like what's even going on? I can't do anything. It's frozen. I don't even know what's going on now. Well, the last game that we were going to test was Payday and I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. Nothing's really happened. So... I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, but honestly, I don't know why I expected this PC to even be able to do this because these games are meant for computers with actual graphics cards. And this is pretty much a Roku stick on steroids. But I do wanna try out emulation, so let's go do that. All right, here we are in Simple 64. And honestly, I do not think this is hitting 60 FPS. There's a lot of lag spikes. It's really not playing well. Yeah, this is not running well at all. I do not think emulation's really gonna be cutting it. It's just too much for this little Roku stick. It's a shame. It really does suck. I thought this honestly would do really well considering how old these games are, but... Oh well. I haven't really messed with any of the settings, which probably would help a lot, but... I just want to get this PC over with. Overall, this computer was honestly a little disappointing. I expected to get a little bit more out of it. I at least expected Left 4 Dead or Payday to launch, but... Neither of those did, so. Knowing that this is limited to pretty much entry-level games and older indie games, it shows how much they sacrificed to make this compute stick. Is it still usable? Yeah, by far. If you're just wanting everyday tasks or even just something to stream TV, this honestly would be good. Like, I might hook this up to my main TV. There are some points that it surprised me. Some games like Cluster Truck, I didn't expect Cluster Truck to run, but we got almost 30 FPS, which is playable, but... Then, like I said, other times where, like, Left 4 Dead didn't even launch and Payday would just give me the endless boot screen. Kind of disappointing. I honestly expected just a little bit more out of this PC, but that's where Linux comes in. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, if we hit 500 likes, I will download Linux on this. And I honestly think it's going to make a big improvement. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. If you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time.